Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am Adam McCola. We are here with Andy Tate outside Old Trafford. 2-1 to Manchester United today. Goals from Paul Pogba. That was a penalty. Marcus Rashford. What a goal from Marcus Rashford. And I think he's he just keeps scoring under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's in great form at the moment, Andy. Yeah, he is. And I was right on level with the with, with Rashford's goal in the past from uh, Delat was really, really special. And uh, he held off two players and put it in the net. So, uh, yeah, it was a fantastic first half. Second did half. Did take a deflection? My brother's trying to tell no. me he did. He no, he didn't. He didn't. I've seen the replays as well in, in, on the concourse, but didn't take a deflection. And uh, this kid's uh, bank born and bred, in, And he's doing the business. Let him, yeah. let, him, let him be our number nine. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask you, Andy. Do you think he's our number one, number nine? Why not? Because of the... The options, uh, like I uh, say, some of the goals dried up. If you give them space, let them play with freedom, a bit of desire, passion, so this is what you're getting. Let him, just let him be our number nine. He, he, uh, I love this tackle at the end, he got taken out. <laughs> Sorry, no, I love that. that no, no, so if, if, you get, if you take it, you got to give it out as well. So he give it back to that lad who, who took him down. Part football, innit? But uh, yeah, second half, we slacked a bit. But when they scored, um, sort of fizzed out. But, uh, it felt a bit weird, didn't it, that we didn't know whether to attack them or defend because at 2-1 anything could happen. Um, you mentioned Diogo Delo and his assist for Marcus Rashford, um, if you could call it that, because Marcus Rashford had a lot to do after. But um, what did you make of his performance? Because he got he came in late because of Luke Shaw's illness, I think it was. I think he um, Luke Shaw was uh, no, he was selected and then he was he was right. taken out of the team just before it cost Dave a point um, in, in 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 the prediction oh, league. How tragic! How tragic! But <laughs> I think he the lot was my man in a match today. The kid did everything right. He played well, given an assist for the goal, and uh, he played his heart out. And he's definitely one for the future. Definitely. A wise he, he, he was on the left today, he's been on the right before. Um, you want to see him back on the right? Left. Was Ashley Young today wasn't great, was he? No, I'm putting him back on the right. It's easier because, um, like, like I say, this little choo choo train's on the go and uh, on, onwards to the Emirates are now. You, have, you, have you heard about the train, Andy? You've I, heard about the train? I've heard about it. Are, are you aboard the train? Oh yeah, let's ride this to the end of the season. <laughs> One way to just at the end of the season. So you've only got you're only aboard the Ollie train to the end of the season. No, Do you think Ollie train goes further than that? This will go beyond if he does something this season. This will go right. What is beyond. something? What is what? What does he have to do to keep the job? Uh, top four. I'm. I've got eyes on Spurs. We could, mm. It's achievable. Third place. Uh, FA Cup possibly. If you get past PSG, who knows where you can go. But um, we didn't have a chance with the previous management when the draw was made. But we've got, we got a chance now. We've got a chance. I would say we have got a chance. Neymar on a bad day. Mbappe can have a bad day. Pogba. Mbappe? Who needs Mbappe when you've got Marcus I know, Rashford? I know. you got Marcus scoring in France. That's getting clipped up when he slaps a hat-trick. <laughs> <laughs> He's but, been going viral. But it? yeah, but... Um, we had on a we on a, we on a choo choo train and we're going to enjoy this ride all the way to the end of the season and beyond. And Ollie's at the wheel. Uh, Arsenal up next. Will we make it eight out of eight? Bang on, we will. Piece of piss that. Kartik, two one seven out of seven. How you feeling? Very good. Um, again, it was a case of maybe in the second half we kind of slowed down a little bit and Bourn uh, Bournemouth Brighton got into the game a little bit more. Uh, but again, we're just showing that we can win different kinds of games. Um, I think Ole saw it coming, that maybe the energy levels would be a bit lower after the Spurs game. But we've got the win, no problem with that. And Marcus Rashford, isn't he meant to be the next Welbeck? The next the next R9, more like. Maybe. <laughs> calm down, everyone, calm down. <laughs> but no, he, the, the, finish, the finish was amazing. I mean, um, he, he, he was the best player on the pitch again for me. Man of the match. Right? Shows you what a bit of confidence can do in it and just telling the players like, you're good, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a big, uh, big um, advocate of that. But yeah, uh, he looks like he's just got all the confidence. No, he's trying back heels, everything. And you wouldn't see that a few weeks ago under someone. Um, but yeah, everyone's like that. Everyone's full of confidence. They just look like they've been told, you're great football, just go play like that. It was very good today, but is there anything you'd change ahead of the Arsenal game? Maybe the midfield. I thought Matic was a little bit slow getting back. So, maybe, but then again, Pereira in a big game. I'm not sure how much I trust him in that game. But yeah, just just the midfield would be it for me, and maybe Phil Jones for Bay. But otherwise, I think we can go with the same thing again. I think that's seven Premier League games. Victor Lindelof completed 90 minutes in consecutively now. Um, I know a few of them were under Jose Mourinho, 
But he seems to be coming into his own now, doesn't he? Do you think he would be our first choice centre half at the moment? Hundred percent. I think he lo he's looking like the kind of player that we thought we'd signed. Because when he signed, we heard that he was good on the ball. He was he's able to carry out from the back, and he's looking that way. The only thing for me is that maybe aerially he's not as strong yet. But that'll come with time. He's still young, so. And Ali, seven out of seven. Has he convinced you yet, or still more time to go? He's convinced me, but he's not convinced me, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, so far, he's done everything that he needs to do. He couldn't possibly do more. I think just when we get to that Champions League tie, we'll see a bit more of what he's about. But otherwise, all is at the wheel. Let's keep going. Cheers, man. Gaz, Manchester United 2, Brighton 1. Oli has made it seven out of seven. Unbelievable, mate. No one saw it coming, I don't think. That, that, that them sort of results, along with the performances, along with just the feel-good factor that, 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 that comes with I a Man United think, legend being I, manager. I even think people like myself and Raheem, who didn't want Mourinho to be in a job much longer, yeah. even felt that it may not turn around this quickly. Well, even I think, that, yeah, I think that you and Raheem probably would have said when you were saying, you know, we might as well get rid of him now. And people like me were saying, it's probably not gonna do, get, there's probably not going to be much point to it, get rid of him in the summer. Um, I, I don't think anyone saw this sort of scenario yeah, happening, did we? Because we knew at that point, I think the argument from some people was, who are we going to get when Mourinho goes? Who are we going to get who is actually available? And there were someone many... said Ali. They would have said yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. If someone said Ali, you would have been like, Fuck you, what, Ali? What, Ma Mulder manager, why? That's never, it's never going to happen and it's never going to be a success. Even when he actually got it, I was happy when he, when he got it and I was thinking, Right, that's brilliant. We've actually got a plan in place now. Six months, let's look for yeah. that manager straight away now because there is no way Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to do enough to convince me he should be Man United manager. The, the way that I thought he might do it is by pulling off a little bit of a miracle and getting us into the Champions League next season. I said if that is like the bare minimum that he would need to do because of his lack of experience. And it, he very well might do that at this point. In fact, I think I'd probably say that he is going to do that. I'm, do you think he's I'm firmly. Himself? I don't know, man. I think he's probably got confidence in his own ability, yeah. and certainly in his own um, his own ability as a football, as an actual player as well. Because you can see the way he talks about how he coaches the strikers here at the minute, and it's almost he's almost like owning the fact that yeah, I've had a word with Marcus and I've taught him a few. I, I, I love that. I love that, and it's showing as well. Marcus Rashford, mate. Unbelievable. How good is he? And, and people were saying not long ago, let's send him on loan to a Championship team. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And he's just got all the natural qualities, mate, of a top, of a top, top quality player. Is he our first he choice number nine? He's a top, top quality player. I, he's got to be. He's got to be above Romelu Lukaku, without a doubt, mate. You've got to keep him in the team going into next season as well. We might go out in the summer and what about? <laughs> and what about? Um, I don't even know what he said then. What about some Galactico or something? But if we were to do that, I just hope it doesn't infringe. Oh, yes, it's full! Yes. I hope it doesn't infringe on his first team chances, mate. And it's it's all it's all happy at the minute, even though we should have had that one in the bag, and it shouldn't have been that much of an issue at the end. But complacency. But maybe. growing up, me and you, Fergie days, yeah. we are spoiled little brats yeah, under we Fergie. Are, we are totally. How many times do we see performance like this, a win like this, and exactly. just think, go home thinking, job done, who cares? Mate, people think that Ferguson, it was all sunshine and rainbows, and we were winning every game five 0 and that was not the case at all. You had a few games, especially in Europe as well, where we play dog awful, but somehow get the result. Today, I thought we were a little bit complacent and, and I don't think that complacency should come from winning six games in a row. I think that, you know, maybe complacency should come when you've near enough got the Premier League wrapped up, not when you're chasing top four. So I think that Oli needs to cut that out of the game a little bit and the, that mentality, and I think he will do, but we came away with the win and we weren't lucky to get the win either. We defended quite well. We weren't lucky to win. Definitely well, unlucky to win, not have but, a few more. Yeah, it should have been three or four, really. We should have had it wrapped up, but happy days, mate. It's another win. Rashford, you man in a match, you said, didn't it? Was it Rashford podcast? Uh, I'm going to give it Rashford, yeah. His quality, mate. That finish is, it was just unbelievable. And Martial had another one as well in the second half where Martial tried to put it in the top corner and he totally didn't need to. And it's like, Oli, Oli's telling him, aim for the top corner. <laughs> Who does that? Min, love it. Cheers, man. Quality, that, man. United have beaten Brighton 2-1. Jake, who's your man of the match there today? Paul Pogba. He's just, his inception is great. His passing is great. Getting better, Paul Pogba. Since 10 goals this season now as well. Yeah, since we've not been under Mourinho, he's changed a lot and he's fantastic. It's like putting petrol into a diesel car. Like Mourinho was petrol and Paul Popper was diesel and they didn't mix. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Paul Popper had the both diesel and they mixed together just fine. <laughs> I love that, I love that. Um, today, we got the win. We're now getting closer to that top four. Do you think we will break into that by the end of the season? 
Oh, definitely. I swear to God, if we win the league, I'm getting the United tattoo. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? The, you know what? Just, <laughs> my friend said, always believe it, even though it may never happen. And what happened, it believed it. it like, my friend met the girl that he wanted to, and he got, got married <laughs> to her. Dream it, believe it, achieve it. Yeah, definitely, definitely achieve it. I mean, I play football and I'm a bit crap, but I'm, I, I believe in myself that I'm going to get better. I'm never going to play for United, unfortunately. I'm never going to get to play on that beautiful pitch, but yeah. Dream it, believe it, Dream. might achieve it. Yeah, definitely, mate. Cheers, man. A little bit squeaky towards the end, weren't it, Matt? Yeah, we were a bit nervous towards the end, but I think we always had it in the bag. I mean, obviously before they, I didn't even see their goal, but obviously before they scored their goal, we just looked like we were cruising. Um, didn't look like they were going to trouble us. Yeah, they had a few chances, but I think maybe they took the, the eye off it a bit and thought, you know, passing it around, we're going to win this game. Um, Brighton, fair play to them. They came out, they wanted to win. That's what you want to see, but... I think this is Ollie's taking it back to the way we, we love. People are turning up, they're singing, they want to be there, they love it. And we're expecting three points yeah. nowadays, aren't we? I love it, man. That's that's why we come to Old Trafford. We want to be entertained. Um, obviously, you know you're not going to win every game. It's going to be like tough with Paris coming up, coming here. But I think why not? Let's you know we're in fifth or we're, we're near the top four. No matter what, if Chelsea and Arsenal both drop points, get a draw, it's really good for us. So. I think 100% we're going to be in top four. No. Paul Pogba's 10th goal of the season today. Marcus Rashford's 9th goal of the oh. season. Martial scoring, Lingard's contributing. How good is that front four looking for you at the moment? I mean, I don't want to like big him up or say anything, but I love Rashford. I love him. I've always loved him. Is he our first choice striker oh, yeah, now? Yeah, 100%. And I mean, for me, he's, he's when he did that little run against Bournemouth, I thought, wow. And then he's done that goal today. And I just think... It's like reminding me of watching Ronaldo. I don't want to big him up. I know like people might sort of say this, yeah. that, and the other, but he's special. If he keeps fighting and going the way he is, he can do what he wants. Um, and obviously Pogba, he's turned up again. Um, people were a bit annoyed with that little run up, but he ran up and smashed. He's a bit quicker today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he heard people mumbling, so he thought, forget this, I'm going to smash it. And that's what he did. And, you know, he's, he's dictating the play from the middle of the park. He's running off people. He's Who was your man of the match? Oh God, I don't know. I, Pogba, oh, Pogba, I've got to say Pogba because, yeah, he was, he was he was making things happen in the middle of the park, so I've got to say him, but that Rashford goal, just star, oh, he's special. Arsenal next, how are you feeling about that one? Will we make it 8-8 eight eight, or do you fancy bringing them back here? I don't know, it's, it's in the cup, so obviously I don't think, I think he might rest a few, but I think Arsenal might rest a few. Yeah, why not, let's go there and beat them, they're nothing, I'm not saying they're nothing special, but... You know, it's Arsenal, lads, let's do it. It's like Tottenham, let's do it. It's only Arsenal, eh? Yeah, it's only Arsenal, let's do it. So why not? We'll get, we'll win there and get, move on to the next round. Cheers, man. Nice one, man. Who's your man in the match? Rashford, 100%. He, he, he played his heart out today, didn't he? He absolutely played his heart out. He wanted to win today, didn't he? Yeah. But you you got to give a special shout out to Lindelof, yeah. mind. Look. It's, it's, it's since Rio and Vidic, last time I've seen players, uh, defenders, pinging the ball over the top. It's, it's someone else. It was unity. Unity what today. It was like... Defo. Cheers, lads. Cheers, boys. Appreciate it, boys. Cheers. Can I get a shout out to my best friend on Snapchat? Um, she has a nickname called Little Miss Sarcastic. Um, she won't be pleased that I gave her a shout out, but um, I want to thank her for all the support she gave me through my um, little hard times. Yes.